We're going to take a look at a submission that has fallen to the wayside for a long time now at the higher level, which is the rolling toe hold against the open guard or De La Hiva. Should be something like a De La Hiva because you need to have a hook on the opposite leg. This is a submission you just don't see much anymore. I think it's uh, pretty crappy. It's a high risk maneuver going for it. And it's got, you telegraph it. People should be aware that it's always kind of a risk and that, or a threat and that it's there. And you have this huge window where you have to roll into this thing to be able to pull it off. So here, as we're in this position, and whether it's like a, Kevin managed to split between my legs with his lead leg here, or I had like a weak De La Hiva hook, or even a De La Hiva hook. If Kevin's able to shed the hook and then jump in rolling, because he can hook this leg and create a bite, on my left leg, and because my knee gets braced up against the mat here and against his hip, as he starts to apply the toe hold from here, I get stuck. And so from this position, yeah, okay, it's actually pretty hard to defend it if we were to end up here. But you must have fallen asleep at the switch for that to have happened. So first, because I've seen some people from other clubs try and teach it like this or do it like this to me, there has to be a hook of the opposite leg of some kind for this to even be a thing. If I'm here like this and Kevin tries wrapping to the toe hold, one, I, from my ability to just fall and chase his back, whether I have to kind of go into an inversion here or just grab his hip and pull him back here is extremely simple. That's all he's doing. He is giving up the back. Here, as he starts grabbing for this toe hold, there's nothing controlling my other my hips I could rotate through it but as he starts to jump into it I'm just going to control him and then extend my leg out so even here if he gets that toe hold grip there's he should not ever finish this because all I have to do is extend my legs through I can start wrapping my arms through to break that grip and going through to the back extremely simple if you don't feel comfortable with that or he's staying too high up there for too long uh, a whole bunch of different factors that Inverting is even easier because here, as he starts to grab the say, like instead of rolling for it, he's just grabbing it and starting to apply the toe hold from here. All I have to do is make sure that this leg can withdraw it so that I can invert. Uh, I saw Gordon Ryan do this in uh, at Nogi Worlds as Kevin starts to try and apply this. Nope, just from upright. Yeah, like pulling and posturing up like that. If I don't move, then yeah, it starts to go right into my knee a little bit here. As Kevin starts to apply that, I have to make sure my leg clears and I can rotate freely through because he has lever control. He has no control of my knee or my hip. And so at that point, as long as I know what I'm doing, the fact that he's got that grip doesn't mean anything because I can always preemptively roll through to relieve that pressure. The problem is, is if say I had a De La Hiva hook which then we now have to have a pretty shitty De La Hiva hook or he has to break it to be able to get this. If I have a proper De La Hiva hook, I should be able to still the whole time constantly cause Kazushis and mess with his alignment. But say my hook was weak or he just broke it in this circumstance. One, look for the telegraph. If we turn, if he gets this grip on the top of my foot like this, that's toe hold. I know this immediately. I'm gonna bring my knee up to my chest. I'm gonna grab his wrists. I'm gonna break that grip or as soon as he's got that grip, I'm gonna make sure I get a really strong De La Hiva hook and I'm gonna start kind of extending up into his uh, groin or up into the hip. I'm gonna start off balancing him here or I'm gonna take my foot, I'm gonna hook it underneath his leg. I like hooking underneath the leg all the time from uh, how I play Mantis Guard and De La Hiva because if I sit here like this with my foot out, then yeah, there's that possibility, especially with Mantis Guard because I've turned my body like this under hook De La Hiva, depending on what you wanna call it, the foot's here. If he grabs that toe hold right now, this is a risk. And because my leg is so deep here, if we turn, inverting might actually be kind of difficult from here because I have my knee already jammed up to my chest. So being able to have my foot hooked through here and externally rotate my leg, now Kevin has nothing to be able to threaten a toe hold with. But Kevin manages to step in. He manages to get this grip. I still haven't done anything. As soon as he's going for this, he's trying to control that leg, I have to make sure my leg is getting out. If my leg does not get out from there, then I'm gonna have a hell of a bad time. With my leg out, as he starts to apply this, I have to realize that I am not trying to turn necessarily this direction because you see how, as he rotated with that momentum, if I keep rotating like this, apply the submission, Kevin, like I'm trying to now turn out this direction 
and it hurts. Remember, the inside of my knee is what I have to start moving towards. So as he's applying that toe hold, I need to be able to rotate myself this direction. That's the thing that confuses some people. Kevin starts jumping to your right. The momentum is throwing you to the right. You think I want to start turning to my right? No, you're going to hurt yourself. So here, as Kevin starts rolling and tying up my leg here, obviously other guys are going to be tying up that leg in multiple ways and making that entire thing. Here I need to start opening these legs up and I want to make sure that I'm trying to get my leg out and start turning myself here. And this is where I'll start looking at doing my extension. Even here, if he's got my leg still tight, can I extend my leg out and start turning it here? So now as Kevin's trying to apply this, finish me from here. With my leg fully extended out like this, his arms are not in a position, you see how they're above his head, especially with how tall I am, that this is weak for him. If my leg is bent and up into the pocket of his hip, and now he can start to fold my leg and he applies this, I now get caught in that toe hold. Obviously, Kevin hasn't done the rolling toe hold very often, uh, and doesn't really play with toe holds, so yes, there can be like arguments of coming up where, We'll try and do this against black belts. Yes, black belts are gonna be better at controlling this, but they still have to go through the steps to be able to get there. Realize what's happening. So here I have to try and start getting these legs out. I can't do anything here. We can't hand fight. I can't extend. I have to free my leg as best I can. And you might not be able to, but that's because you fucked up so many steps ago and it's your fault at that point. They are not able to control your opposite leg as tight as they would with something like, say, standard ashy, proper wedging mechanics of an outside ashy or a reap. It is going to be a much weaker control. They probably won't even control the knee line itself. And so you have a chance to be able to do so. But don't see the submission very often. You don't even have to see people, you don't even see people have to defend this submission very often anymore because it's just something that everyone knows. It's too much of a Hail Mary. It's extremely telegraphed and people know what's coming. It's got a large window of uh, travel time for you to be able to get into the proper position for that toe hold. So make sure you just are pro playing proper alignment with your guard. Make sure you're constantly messing with your opponent's base uh, by kazooshing off balancing them. And make sure you just realize that that foot dangling out there and internally rotated sitting in front of them will create that opportunity for the rolling toe hold.